Hey everyone, Sarah with the Stronghold Freedom Foundation. I'm here with another riveting instructional video for your viewing pleasure. So now that the K2 Veterans Care Act of 2021 has been introduced, we'd like to ask you to contact your elected officials to gain their support for the bill. If you'd like to find out more about this bill, you can go to our website and click on About Legislation. And this will take you to the page that shows you all the information about the bill, including the co-sponsors, the text of the bill, and as well as links to congress.gov and GovTrack where you can track the bill yourself. Now, our first letter writing campaign was really convoluted. It had a lot of copy pasting, so it was really frustrating, even if you were super computer literate. The second letter writing campaign was a bit easier. It used the same basic form, but you had to do the form three times and it was kind of frustrating this campaign we did a little bit of work on the back end so that you really only have you only have to fill the form out once and it sends it to all three of them at the same time which hopefully makes it easier but i'd still like to walk you through it so from our home page you click on the contact leg legislators and that's going to take you to this page and you go to the what do i say and this is where the letters are the K2 Veteran and the Family Friends Concerned Citizens letter. Now, before we go to those, I'm going to scroll down a little bit here. Um, if you don't know your congressional district, you need to go to GovTrack to find it out. So I'm going to go and show you how that works really quickly. Um, basically, you just enter your address. I'm going to enter this random address that I looked up the other day. Finding me drive in Houston, Texas. And I didn't, you don't even have to put your zip it, as long as it's, you know, there's not a whole bunch of those in the same name street in your town. And basically what it's going to do is it's going to find your district. So it tells you that you're in Texas's 18th congressional district if you live in this place. And it's going to tell you who your senators and who your representative is. And this is important. You, if you don't know it, you, you should know it. Um, it's important to know your district that you're going to need it for the form. So we'll go back up here. Um, I'm gonna click on the K2 veteran form. I'm gonna fill that form out uh, just because it has a couple extra boxes that the concerned citizen uh, form doesn't. And this is where the form is. You scroll down past the beautiful video to tell Congress to act. Now, if you have problems with the form at all, click on this button right here. This is go to JOT form. This is gonna take you to the jotform.com website and you'll fill out the form there. Um, I know sometimes when a form is embedded on a website, some people have problems with their Android operating system or the Apple operating system if you're using your tablets. So I put this link in here so that you can do it on the JotForm website just in case there's a problem. There's also links down here to, sell, to share, share the form with your family or friends. This link will actually take them to the previous page. So let's get started. So here's the instructions. It says that basically this just allows you to send a form letter to all three of your representatives. You will receive a copy of the letters, so you're going to get three emails. And it's important that you know that it's just like any other email. Once it's sent, it's gone. You're not going to be able to make any changes. If you'd like to know what the emails say, you just need to, you can click right here on sample emails and it'll show you exactly what the emails say word for word and you are going to we are going to get to see the one for the house of representatives at the very end of the form it's just so you can kind of see to make sure all your information is correct before you hit send um, you'll be able to go back at that point so let's get started the first thing you're going to do is look up your elected officials and this is where you need to know your district First thing you need to know is your state two letter state abbreviation. If you don't know what that is, there is a link here so that you can go look it up. But I'm gonna use that same address in Texas so that we can continue to use that. So TX and that district was the 18th district. Now I have a little bit of instruction here just so you know. On the next three questions, you're gonna perform the lookup. Unfortunately, it doesn't do it automatically. You have to click some buttons for me. Um, it's just because they're still kind of lagging on auto lookups. So you're going to check the box to make sure that there's information in those boxes. And then you're going to click the button. This is what the book button looks right, like right here. 
Um, if there's any issues, you, if there's no issues, you're going to see a green check mark. You're going to see this right here, this exact phrase right here with the little green check mark. Then you're just going to click this next button down here. If you get a red stop message and it says, please check the field, it has your state and district in the box and try again. The first thing you should do is hit the button again, just to make sure that it, it loaded right. If that doesn't work, click the previous, go back make sure your district is correct and then you can if that doesn't work please feel free to e email us there's a link to the email right here in this form so find your representative you'll notice that it filled in the texas and 18 so we're going to click right away we got a green check mark yay we're going to go to next find your first senator you notice it says Texas and 01 for my first senator. We're going to click here. Your first senator has been identified. Texas and 02, my second senator. Your second senator has been identified. Okay, now we're going to check our the names of our elected officials. And it says that Texas's 18th district is Re Representative Sheila Jackson Lee. That's correct. She's a Democrat. Here's her staff name. Now, you may not know this. It's not that big a deal, but this is who the email is going to go to. Here's the Texas U.S. Senators, Senator Cruz, Senator Corn, and here's their staffs, staff members. Okay, do the names of your elected officials appear to be correct? Yes. So we're going to go on. Now we're going to enter our information. I'm going to pretend to be John Doe. Put my address. I'll use that beautiful address on Winding May Drive in Houston, Texas. I'm going to make up a because I can't remember what it is supposed to be. And it won't check it. Then you enter your enter your phone number. And you, you don't have to enter any dashes. Just enter the numbers. Enter your email. I am going to put in the info at strongholdfreedomfoundation.org time you spend in k2 in months if you did several deployments add them up in months so i'm going to say 18. and you can pick your service branch now it has all the service branches as well as civilian contract and federal employee because don't forget we consider civilian contractors and federal employees to be k2 veterans as well so i'm going to put air force and then you're going to write your sample paragraph. Now, when you're writing your your um, your your paragraph, you should put in a little bit about your personal experience in K2. If you feel comfortable sharing um, health issues or you know stories about your time there or your struggles with the VA, please feel free to put that in here. Now, there's no character limit on this. You can write as long of a dissertation as you want. However, please remember the KISS principle here. If you, the longer you make it, the less likely they are to read the whole thing. And you type your full name as if you were going to sign it. And the reason is, is we just, we make a little nice signature at the bottom of the email. Now, here's where you can click and upload a file. So I'm going to click and upload this lovely picture of David Perner at K2. Now here's how your email is going to look. It's addressed to your representative. You can't edit this field, but you'll be able to see how this looks. So here's how the email is going to look going to the Honorable Sheila Jackson Lee. Um, through her, her senior policy advisor, it, I currently reside in Texas 18th District. I'm a veteran of the U.S. Air Force. This is my paragraph. And then it goes into the letter and you scroll down and here's the John. Here's your here's your signature and your address as well as your phone number and your email address. And this is this will actually in the actual email. This will be a link, not just the thing. It'll be a link to your pictures. Now, when you click next, it's going to say, once you click submit, the emails will be sent. You can no longer make changes. Were the senators and representatives listed yours? Is all your information correct? Did you include your story? And did you upload a picture if you have one? And so we're going to hit submit. Okay, I'm going to run over here to my email. 
and I'm going to open. You'll notice that I now have several emails and the other people that get the info out are going to love me for this, which I have because they all came to me as well. They didn't just go. So here's the, this is what we see. This is what we get. Just shows that you sent it to us or sent it in. This is what the, this is going to the Honorable Seal Jackson Lee. Here's your, here's your thing with your picture. This was, this is the one that went to Ted Cruz. It didn't actually go to him, by the way. I just, um, and this is the one that went to the other Senator. And that's all I do, there is to it. Three emails went to three elected officials. You got three emails with your information on them. And we got an, an email with the information about who you emailed. Your family, friends, and any concerned citizens will also get the same emails. And that's all there is to it. It's so simple this time. I don't know why I didn't do it this way the first time. I even apologize for that. Thank you so much for listening. If you ever have any questions about the form, about the website, about anything that we can do for you, please feel free to contact me at sarah.perner at strongholdfreedomfoundation.org or info at strongholdfreedomfoundation.org. If you ever need our help, it's very simple. We're help at strongholdfreedomfoundation.org. I know it's very long to type. I'm sorry about that. We're here to help. Just give us a shout. Thanks for listening and hope you have a great day.